Land use change over the last 100 years or so has led to a decline in ponds by about 50 to 70 percent across the landscape and this has had an impact on lots of species but in particular the grey crested newt. Great crested newts are amphibians. They spend part of their lives in ponds, so they use ponds in the spring and early summer for breeding, and then the adults leave the ponds and hibernate on the land. So in woodlands, grassland, scrub areas, which are really important for the populations. In the UK, the great crested newt populations are significantly important internationally, and for this reason, they're protected legally. And in England, you need a license from Natural England to affect any habitat or the newts themselves. So any developer wanting to undertake a development requires a licence from Natural England. In order to achieve this licence, they need to undertake a lot of site survey, they need to develop a mitigation strategy to demonstrate how they will manage the newts during the development. And that involves quite a lengthy process and can be quite time consuming, very costly, and it's quite difficult to find a solution which is best for the newts and best for the development. So there was a feeling that we needed to do better and should try and do better. And so we came up with the concept of district level licensing for great crested newts. In order to understand more about great crested newts, we wanted to create some models and some maps to understand where they are across the country. To do that, we went out, we surveyed over 7,000 ponds using environmental DNA, eDNA, and those results were fed into our models and they are what help us understand where the newts are. You could use this model to create maps describing risk zones, i.e. the areas where developments are most likely to impact newts, and also maps called strategic opportunity areas, which describe the best places to put ponds to benefit newts. Natural England established habitat delivery partnerships with uh, wildlife trusts, farming and wildlife advisory groups, and local authority countryside management partnerships, and they connected with landowners who were keen to restore and create ponds on their land holdings. We've been so lucky to work with amazing partners and landowners who understand the importance of balancing agricultural production and restoring the landscape for wildlife. Creation of ponds is almost always one of the first opportunities when restoring land for wildlife. Our experience suggests that landowners get a lot back from the ponds that they create. When we bought the property, the plan was really to uh, make it more environmentally sound. I approached Natural England. The process was very simple. Excavators, cost of the driver, everything thrown in, 100%. It all happened very, very quickly. I think it was probably less than three or four weeks. I think it's the, the most simple process. It would be lovely to see great crested newts here. I can't see anything other than positives in this. Given this pond has been in for sort of 18 months, so it's had its first eDNA analysis, it wouldn't surprise me in the slightest if this pond has great crested newts in it. Everything stacks up for it. It's a great pond, it's got the connections, there are ponds in the surrounding landscape, so I wouldn't be at all surprised with this one if it, if it held great crested newts. I think the district level licence scheme really offers a collective approach. There's numerous stakeholders involved, and essentially it's about producing tangible benefits for the species. The district level licensing scheme is available in most areas of England. It's facilitated hundreds of developments and generates millions of pounds per year. 85% of this funding goes towards habitat creation, monitoring and maintenance. District level licensing is about moving beyond species protection and towards nature recovery. We're now seeking to create and restore around a thousand ponds per year. And we think this makes us the largest pond creation and restoration project in Europe, possibly the world. We just want to say thank you to all the fantastic landowners that are working with us. 